Hi everyone, my name is Peter Ferrio and welcome back to another Day in the Wild episode hosted by Data Nini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to be talking about data output to a template Excel file using Autrox Designer. What we have over here in this workflow is a workflow that calculates based upon population the top 10 cities in New York State. So what we're trying to do is output this to a specific Excel file that contains some pre-populated formatting. So let's talk about the file for a second. You can see right here in the file that we have some headers at the top, we have an image to the left, we have actually some drawing to the right and some text at the bottom over here. And what we can do is both keep the formatted outside of where we're trying to output the data as well as inside. So after we're done with all the workflow that we're going to be developing today, we're then going to be able to keep all the formatting that we have outside as well as inside. Inside, what we're going to be doing is populating all those data rows that we have into this specific range over here. So what we have are 10 different rows of data as well as the header so of course 11. For this we're going to be applying some formatting over here which is going to be a bold as well as red so for example I can write my name over here then you can see that the data that will be populated on this side will have some formatting as well as in the data as if I type my name at the bottom you can see that we are also applying some formatting over here only for the first column and the header okay so with this, we're then able to go into Altrix Designer and specify that we want output to this specific range. In Altrix Designer, we need to specify either the range name or the template, uh, in this case the template sheet, so in this case it's called template, as well as the range that we're trying to output. Okay, so for example, we're going to be outputting this to the range of F10 all the way to J21. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and push this to the side and let's talk about this in Autrix Designer. Using the output data tool, you're going to click on the uh, uh, drop down, go to files, Excel file in my case. I'm then going to select the file, so it's going to be this one, click on save. In this case, I will overwrite replace this file, I'm going to check yes. And now I need to specify the range, name or the sheet as well as the range. In this case, the sheet is called template. And now I'm going to specify the range, which I mentioned before, which would be F10 to J21. So everything that's within this specific range, the data, only the data will be replaced. But before we can do this, what we need to do is option number three, change this to overwrite sheet or range in our case, as well as checking box number six, to preserve the formatting so now the data will be replaced but the formatting will not okay so for this we can go ahead and close out the file that we have make sure that we save the format that we have of course and we can run the workflow and now the data will be output to the specific range as well as all the formatting that was pre-developed will be kept and you can see that we have our title a little drawing to the right, some image to the left, the text below, and the range that we specify, both the formatting, as you can see, is being kept, as well as the data is now updated to what we're doing before. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this out. And this wraps up today's video on how to output data to a template Excel file using Autodesk Designer. Thank you for watching, of course. Please let us know if you have either any questions or comments regarding this video and let us know if you have any suggestions for the next video. Thank you so much and have a nice day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.